Hello my friends, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this beautiful watercolor painting effect in Photoshop. This is the image we will create and this is another um, image that I created a few days ago, the same effect, but this is the one we will do today. To start this project, you have to create a new document. For this document, I chose 1920 by 1080 72 ppi, click create. Command zero to fit to screen so we can see what we're doing. Now that we have this document created, I have to bring in my image. So I'll go to file, place embedded. And here is my image. Click on place. And then, okay. So here is our image. Great. Now we have to take it through a few uh, series of filters. The first one we're gonna do, we'll go to filter and then filter gallery and for this one we will choose from the first set from the artistic i'll choose cutout i'll keep my default settings which is four four and two and click ok now as you can see this uh, filter was applied to my smart object my image was a smart object that's the way i brought it into photoshop if you did not have a smart object just right click on your layer and convert it to a smart object and now on the right side of our filter gallery, I have these lines, double click on it. And we'll change the blending mode to screen and opacity to about 50%. Click OK. The next filter we'll apply, still with the image selected, we'll go to filter, filter gallery. And we will take the next one over, which is dry brush. I will keep the default settings, which for me is 2, 8 and 1 and click OK. And now you can see the next filter gallery one uh, filter showed up over here. So now we can double click on the lines on the right side of it and change this blending mode to multiply and opacity, you guessed it, around 50%. Something like that. Click OK. Our photo is a little bit maybe too sharp now. So what I would do, I would go to filter, go to blur, and I will apply a smart blur. For this one, you can choose a radius anywhere between three and five, depends on your resolution of your image. I will choose 4.9 for this one and click OK. Then over here where we have the smart blur filter on the right side where the lines are, double click on that and we will change the blending mode from normal to screen. And opacity, again, 50% or so. Click OK. And now our image really starts looking like a watercolor painting. The next filter we will apply, we'll go to filter, filter gallery and hmm. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna apply this one. I will go to filter and then go to stylize over here and choose find edges. I want to add some sort of pencil markings on it so you can see where the pencil lines were. And now I want these edges to show up darker on my image. So go to the find edges filter over here on the right side of it, double click on the lines, change the planning mode to multiply because that will darken things and then opacity around 50% again. Click OK. All right, we have our watercolor painting, but now we have to create that old paper background. We have to just stylize it a little bit to make it look better. To do so, I will click on background. And now I want to bring in my old paper overlay. So I'll click on file and place embedded. And I have this old paper overlay and I will put a link in the description below where you can download this for absolutely free and click OK. Now that I have this overlay, I will just right click on it. It's still in the transform mode and I'll just rotate it 90 degrees and stretch it to fit my canvas. Something like that. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't do it right. There you go. Maybe even turn off my image just so I can see what I'm doing. Command zero to fit the screen and that looks good. With the old paper layer selected, I will create a new layer and here I want to give this paper some old texture, like, like it's worn out. So for that, I have to find a watercolor brush. 
I will go into my brush settings and the watercolor brush I will use, it's this one over here. I have a lot of watercolor brushes that I purchased from the internet, but for this one, I wanted to use something that you all have on your Photoshop and this is part of the legacy brushes. If you do not see the legacy brushes uh, folder, go to settings and then legacy brushes, click on it and restore the legacy brushes. I already did that and I'll click cancel. So once you have the legacy brushes, go into the very last folder, which is wet media brushes, open it out and the brush we will use is the very last one, watercolor light opacity. With this brush selected on this blank layer that I created on top of my um, old paper, I will make my brush a lot bigger. I will click down option and I will choose a tone from the hair. And I'll just dab a few times on this paper just to give it that, you know, old look. Something like that. And then I will change the blending mode from normal into soft light and maybe reduce the opacity to around 50%, 55 for this image. Great. Now we need to work on the image. I'll click on the image and holding down option and click on the mask, I'll create a black mask. And now with this mask selected, the black mask, I'll click on the mask, make sure the mask is selected, not the image, and the same watercolor brush, make sure you have white as a foreground to reveal our image. I will start dabbing onto my image, I'll resize my brush to what it looks good, and start dabbing to reveal your image. Something like that looks wonderful to me. Click a few times on the face because I want to bring in more details there. And now you can see, I see this line where my image ends because my image was in portrait orientation. So I'll click X to toggle between black and white. I'll choose my black as a foreground now and make sure I erase these edges so they're not visible. And that looks good to me. Maybe I'll even erase more on this side. Make it a little bit more irregular. And there you go. This is how you will create a watercolor painting effect. You could do one more step. This is optional. We can create some pencil lines if you, will, if you want. And to do that, we will have to duplicate this smart object over here. I'll go Command J. And with this uh, top layer selected, click on the image, make sure the image is selected, not the mask. And for that, I would go to filter, stylize, and I will choose, let's see, not stylize, I'm sorry. We will go back to filter gallery and we'll go to the stylize folder and choose glowing edges. With the glowing edges selected, um, I will move the edge width to one, the edge brightness to, let's see, 12, and the smoothness all the way to the right, 15, and click OK. And now it's looking very, very funny. What we need to do is go here into the adjustment layers and click invert. And then the other thing we need to do, it's click this icon over here. This is clipping it. It's a clipping mask to the layer below. And now we have our pencil lines, but they don't look like pencil because they're colored. So what we need to do is go on the adjustment layer and go to black and white to turn those pencil lines into black and white pencil. So then again, clip mask sign over here. And now we have our pencil lines. To make them be applied to our uh, watercolor painting, make sure you click on your image over here, not on the um, adjustment layer that you had. And with this image selected, change the blending mode to multiply. And now we have the pencil lines. And those are too strong. You can reduce the opacity maybe around 75%. And that looks good. Well, that, my friends, that's it for today. This is how you'll create realistic watercolor painting effects in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I'll see you in my next video.